I'm Luke from Better Off, and this is Zero Platoon. This song is called Garden State of Mind. It's called Garden State of Mind, and it is a letter to my mom after uh, her relationship with my dad had gone completely sour. Gives you last chance at survival, a cold gun named at the trial, and I've been running on for so long. Here's your fallout, though you're trying, the colors fade out, cause they're dying, and I've been painting love for so long. Nothing's gonna change I try to pay My debt and feel free No My dollar bill Will live on as change I was kind of caught in the middle of A relationship, they were trying to work it out I was caught in the middle of them working it out And saw it going really nowhere And couldn't really handle I didn't really handle the fact that it wasn't tr a true relationship, it was just force forcing this, this to work, and it wasn't going to work. Until the day that I woke up and died, the song sung out for me, the most sobering to me, that my life was love, my love was lost, and it was lost within. So I wrote that song, it's kind of like me saying, I can't do this anymore, so I'm going to go find what I need right now. So, My mom is a songwriter, and for my entire life, she's been a huge advocate of playing an instrument, regardless of really whether you want it to or not. And I definitely didn't want to at first, but she just made me take like piano lessons, and when I wasn't into that, she said, well, what do you want to play? And I said, drums. And so I started playing drums, but then that was in the, they put the drums in the basement and I was too afraid to go in the basement and practice drums, so that kind of fell off. And then took a little break from music, was not interested at all, and then moved to Nashville. And uh, she said, you need to play an instrument just to support me developing as like an intelligent person, I guess. And, uh, I said, well, I want to play guitar. And so they got me guitar for Christmas one year, and I did not put it down until I was 18 years old. So uh, definitely like pretty lame stuff. Like whatever whatever was on the radio. I definitely learned like some Nickelback songs. Stuff that wasn't like, cool, but was really catchy. And I've always loved pop music, so that stuck for a really long time. And then as I grew older, I started learning about other kinds of music, started learning aggressive metal riffs and uh, then got into songwriting and that ended up getting really into the bands like Jimmy Eat World and bands that kind of combined, I don't know, cool riffs every once in a while with pop songwriting. So, and I think that's because when it comes down to it, like the lame stuff is the most easily accessible and then when you start learning that there's more out there, uh, start finding little things that you find are cooler than other things and this turns into a whole world for you to discover. So that's what's awesome about it, I guess. Whenever I am feeling down, I'll go looking for something to kind of
be a soundtrack for that period of time. And I always find something that attaches itself to me emotionally. And uh, it's always different. It's all, all the time. Like it could even be happy. Like my most recent thing was like the 1975, which is not a sad band. But uh, it kind of brought me out of a bad, a low point, I guess.